Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? So, uh, what'd you think of that footage from the car show, huh? That was pretty cool. Never been to one of those new shows before, new uh, automobile shows. So, uh, that was a pain to film, though. If I can zoom this in, I'm using my little remote here. There we go. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? So, uh, yeah, that was a pain to film. There was a lot of people there. But, would have liked to have gotten a couple cleaner shots of a few of the cars, and especially that black Aston Martin. I was really wanting to get a good shot of that, but... It was right next to the Bugatti Veyron, so everybody was there looking at that. But uh, this is kind of a oops, hit buttons. This is kind of a follow-up of the car show. Uh, I did get oops, step over here. Did get a couple of brochures. I am kind of thinking about a new car next year, so mm -hmm. get out all the stuff here. First, we got the. Uh, <laughs> Zoom me back in a little bit, step into the first frame. So, uh, here's my three choices as they stand. This is probably the bottom of the list right now. It is a Honda. Oh, it's showing up there well there. The CRZ. Sharp looking little car, a little hybrid. It's right at the high end of my price range for their base model. A little over 20 grand. So, you know, eh, sharp looking little car. One of the big stipulations I was uh, going for was can I get in and out of it? Because uh, with my back, I don't bend very well. Uh, that was kind of a pain. I did sit in a Chevy Volt, or I tried to. Couldn't get my head past the, uh, the overhead pillar. I could not get my back to bend down enough to get in there. It just it. And today was a good day for my back, so if it hurts on a good day, I'm not even going to try on a bad day. Uh, probably the best was the, uh, in my price range, was the Kia Soul, but they don't get good enough gas mileage. Uh, I'm looking at as close to 40 as I can get. So, uh, next in line, the Fords. Uh, a lot of you know I'm a Chevy guy, but uh, I'm keeping an open mind on this. I went and I was originally thinking of a Focus, just a base model, again, no options. Uh, nice little car. I fit, but I wasn't overall impressed with it. However, I did go sit in the new Fiesta, and uh, that one impressed me. That was a real easy car to get in and out of, lots of room for me. Uh, it just seemed to be a little, I don't want to say better built, it just seemed to fit a little better, uh, which is kind of surprising because it's such a small car. Uh, but yeah, that's what they say, it's a surprising little package. So, well, the front of the focuses sure look like Aston Martin, don't they? But uh, I think the top of the list and the one I'm considering the most right now, although the Fiesta is pretty high because it's the cheapest, uh, base model is eh, roughly a little under 15. But the one that I'm liking the most, just for the overall fit, finish, feel. I did get to drive one from a buddy at work. This is the uh, Chevy Cruze. Those are nice little cars. I really like those. Chevy uh, they hit the mark on that one. It's uh, comfortable, easy to get in and out of. Got a nice little charging port right in the center armrest for the MP3 player. I don't care about CD players and whatnot anymore. I don't need any of that stuff. But You know, we're gonna... Anything I look at is gonna be manual transmission. Bare bones. I'm not going for any options, but uh, these I think they start about 17 to 18. But uh, you know, those are my three choices at this time. Focus, I guess you could say, is still kind of on there, but but uh, yeah, just like I said, I wasn't really impressed with it, even though it's almost the same car as the Fiesta, just a little different package. But uh, anyway, I did pick up a couple of these. actually purchased something at the show. Something to add to the, the garage or the back room here. So I can get it open. A couple of flags. A couple of auto manufacturers. A couple of my favorites. No, I didn't get a Chevrolet. Let's get her open here. This one's pretty snazzy. It's pretty big too. So let's get the... Uh, I do with the remote right there. 
zoom je alles back out. Hey, look at that, huh? So I'm probably gonna hang them you know, behind me on either side of the American flag there. But, uh, is it, uh, let's go this way. Yeah, really, can I step back far enough? Huh? Look at that, huh? Yeah, I can't see the screen, so hopefully you're seeing everything. That's, uh, that's pretty snazzy, huh? Yeah. They weren't exactly cheap. Uh, I can't remember, I think I paid 30 bucks for two, I think. 20 for one, two for 30, I think. But, uh, oh, yeah. What did they say? Well, these are three foot by five foot. Gonna iron out the, the creases, but you know, we'll probably hang this one over the door. Right there. I just like that color. The Cadillac crest. You know what? Get a little better garage. I may even put it up over the Eldorado if I keep her around. Although that's not going to be the last Cadillac I ever own. I did sit in a couple of the new Cadillacs too, just to, I mean, they're way out of my price range, but just to try them. I don't care for them. They're not, they almost feel cheap. I was a little disappointed in them. The 84 has a better feel just sitting in it. And yes, I did sit in the uh, Catfight. Uh, in the Chevy Sonic and Chevy Spark. Both comfortable cars. I do not like the dash layout. You got one round gauge in the middle, which is your tack, and then right off to the side of that is the digital readout for all your driver stuff. I just, it looked cheesy. So I kind of scratched those off my last slide. They were easy to get in and out of, and the price was good, but you know, I just don't like the way that looked. And they were, the, I'm trying to remember, the spark was really cheap. You probably see on the video where we opened my, my friend that went with me and, and I would open the doors and they were just chintzy, chintzy cars. They remind me of something from the, like an old 70s Honda or something like that. The Sonic wasn't quite as bad, but again, that goofy gauge cluster. So the other flag that I bought is from my favorite exotic, if you would. So we got us an Aston Martin flag. Again, I can't really see the screen, but you know, this one's got nice uh, plastic tabs on her here for hanging it. So, you know, looks like I guess you guys are seeing it backwards, but it's nice green. I like that. So, yeah, we'll try to put a little iron on low heat and just see if we can get the wrinkles out. And the Cadillac one has, oh, it's just got little grommets here. So, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I think we'll put them on either side of the, uh, the American flag there. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was about it. And of course, all the high-end cars they had those blocked off. All the the Bugatti and the Astons and the Lambos and the Ferraris and that. The only red Ferrari we had they had there was actually a 2006. It was a used one. Everything else I think was new. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. A lot of technology going on in cars now. It's nuts. Kind of scary in a way. But uh, anyway, had a good trip. Had a good time. It was, uh, was a heck of a show. And uh, a lot of people. A lot of people would have liked to have gone in during the week or something. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this. I'm still uploading the, uh, the car show itself or as this is being filmed. So I'll put that one up first. Put this one up next. And uh, I don't know what's going on tomorrow. I may go down and try to see Ken, see what's going on with Kit. I'm trying to get a hold of the brother, see if he's going to be around, stop off, see what he's got going on. I know he did some work and got his Jeep running. Maybe we'll go down and pester him about that. Of course, I still got to fix mine yet. Maybe I'll grab those axle shafts and finally get them in. Um, other than that, probably hang up some uh, flags here and get things uh, get things going. Yeah, my Blues Brothers poster is a little crooked. Anyway, we'll go ahead and end this. Keep her somewhat short. We'll catch you all later. And, uh, yeah, bye-bye.